So this is number 14. It's very symbol, similar to number six. So I'm gonna put here C number six if you want additional review. Okay, so we have three numbers. We have 0 0.075, 0.75% and then a fraction 3 over 4. And what they're asking us to do is which of the following correctly orders the values above these from least to greatest, from smallest to biggest. So I'm going to put down over here just, just so we have it handy the four times table. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. So that's four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, etc. So I want to convert each of these into a decimal. Now, I guess I could do them in, in, into fractions or all into percentages, but let's do it into decimals because I think that's the easiest to do it quickly. So what I want to do is this one's done, so we don't have to do anything to that one. So the next one I want to look at is 0 0.75%. Now, to convert a decimal, a percentage into a decimal, we're going to divide by 100. Now, if you had a percent, if you had a decimal and you wanted to convert it into a percentage, you would multiply by 100. But we don't want to do that. We're converting a percentage into a decimal, so we have to divide by 100 because the opposite of multiplication is division. So to do that, I'm going to write the numbers here. Now, if we were to multiply, we would go this way. We'd move it to the right. But since we're dividing, we're moving the decimal to the left. So there's two zeros there, so I move it over two spaces. One, two. So now the decimal lives right there. Bring the zero there. So the new value equals, I'll make it a little nicer, 0 0.0075. So that's one. So I can see right away that this number is smaller than this one. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to convert the fraction 3 over 4 into a decimal. So we have to remember how to convert a fraction into the decimal. And the way we do that, the numerator, the one on the top, goes inside the house. So 3 goes inside the house, and outside the house goes the denominator. Okay, so I see right away that three is smaller than four, so I know that it's gonna be a decimal, and it's going to be less than one. So I guess I could put a zero there, why not? So I'm gonna put a zero here, and I'm gonna figure out what's what. So how many times does four go into 30? So I look for a number that's smaller than 30, there we go, so it's 28. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times four is 28. I subtract two from it. I'm sorry, I, I subtract 28 from 30 gives us two. I add another zero, I bring it down, boom. So I see, up. Oh, it goes in perfectly. One, two, three, four, five times. So we're done. So the last one is 0.75. I'll make that big here too. So obviously three quarters is the biggest one because 0.75 is bigger than 0 0.75. So this is the largest. So I look over here on the list and I see that this is the only one that meets that criteria perfectly. So since we're looking for least to greatest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see which is the smallest. So right here, this is the smallest. So look, it's going to be the 0.75. So it can be this one or this one. Now the next thing I do is I look to see, so these are out. We're not considering those two now. 
So the next thing I do is which was looks as look to see which is the next smallest. Now we already realized that this one's the biggest because that's 0.75, so that one's out. So that means that this has to be the next one. And this is the right answer.